class, welcome back to the Information and Communications Technologies event. This lesson number 3, we will be talking about the buttons and ports on a computer. For the content standard, you need to demonstrate understanding of the basic buttons and ports on a computer. And, and for the performance standards, you need to connect ports into its proper device. For our objectives, you are expected to identify the ports and buttons on a computer and be familiarized with the peripherals that can be connected to a computer. Okay, so do you remember this type, uh, this part of a computer? Yes, it is what we call the computer case. So what is the function of a computer case? Very good. When it's a computer case, it is a metal and plastic box that contains the main components of a computer. What are those? The motherboard, the central processing unit or the CPU, and the power supply. But the front face usually has a different motor as well as more optical drives. Mapet sa saksakan ng flash drives. Okay, so do you know the ports and buttons of a computer? Maybe some of you are already familiar with these ports and buttons and most of you are not yet familiar. So that's why we are uh, talking about these ports and buttons for this video. Okay? So have you tried connecting your cellular phone to a computer? So anong nangyayari kapag kinoconnect natin yung uh, cell phones natin doon sa computer? Di ba merong cell phone? Ah, meron siyang function na pwede ka mag-charge. Pwede ka mag-transfer files from your phone to the computer and vice versa. Okay? So, each computer is different. So, the buttons, ports, and sockets will vary from one computer to a to another computer. Okay? So, take a look on the front and the back of a computer case and count the number of buttons, ports, and slots you see. So, yun nga. Yun na kaya yung makikita ninyong ports buttons and sockets na makikita nyo sa computer. Okay, so you probably counted at least 10 or maybe a lot more. But it depends to the computer case that is available to you. Okay, or sa, uh, depende sa computer case na mabibili mo sa market. Okay? So, simulan natin sa front ng ating case. Kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa harapan, sa bandang taas, meron siya pinatawag nating optical disk drive. Okay, so often called as CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive. So this lets your computer to read CDs and DVDs. Okay, kahit yung mga bagong klase ng computer, bagong labas na computer, meron pa rin silang uh, optical disk drive para, mag, para magamit pa rin natin yung mga CD-ROM na mabibili natin. Okay? Yung mga CD-ROM na to, it can be from a, it can be an installer of a software, it can be a movie, di ba? Meron pa rin mga movies dyan na uh, uh, available in optical, uh, in any CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. But it can be also from a uh, installer and storage or uh, serve as a storage. Okay? Just like a flash, flash Okay, so ito yung kanyang itsura. Okay, so meron siyang pindutan dito. Ito siya. Once na pinindot mo yun, pwede mo nang i-insert. Ah, lalabas yung slot. Then, pwede mo nang i-insert yung ating yung CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. Then, tunak mo lang siya para mag-close. Okay? Then, pag na-close mo na, tsaka siya i-read na copy. So, that's the function of an optical disk drive. So, next we have the power button. So, the power button is used to power the computer on and off. Diba? So, just like a monitor, meron siyang power button para ma, para ma operate natin o para magamit natin na maayos ang ating computer. And, meron siyang audio in and out na port. Diba? So, many computers include audio ports on the front of the computer case that allow you to easily connect the speakers, the microphones, and headsets without fumbling in the back of the computer. So, itong si audio in and out or the audio ports, meron din siya sa likod pero available din siya sa harapan ng ating computer keys para mas madali natin na i-connect yung iba't ibang uh, speakers and headphones na magagamit natin. Okay? Next, we also have USB or the Universal Serial Bus Port. 
so most desktop computers have several USB ports. This can be used to connect almost any type of devices including mouse, keyboards, printers, and digital cameras. So they will often appear on the front and back of a computer. Uh, usually, yung USB port natin sa harapan ng computer ay dadalawa lang. Pero sa likod, mas marami siyang available na port or slots. Okay? Okay, so the back of a computer case has connection ports that are made to fit a specific devices. So the placement will vary from computer to another computer. And many companies have their own special connectors for specific devices. So some of the ports may be color-coded to help you determine which port is used with a particular device. So ito naman yung halimbawa ng back of a computer case. Diba? So, uh, unlike dun sa front uh, front side ng computer case, kakaunti lang ang kanyang ports and slots. Pagdating naman sa likod ay marami ka nang pwedeng pagsaksakan. Depende doon sa uh, function. Depende doon sa ikakapit ninyong peripherals or connectors na ito. Okay? So, simulan natin dito sa bandang taas. So, yan ang tinatawag nating power socket. So, this is where you, you will connect the power cord to the computer. Of course, hindi gagana ang ating computer case kung hindi natin siya isasaksak sa kuryente. So, dito sa part na ito, hindi uh, ginagamit natin yung, or sinasaksak natin yung ating power socket. Okay, so most of the computer case mayroong power socket of course. So, next one. We have this audio in and out also. So almost every computer has two or more audio ports where you can connect various devices including speakers, microphones, and headsets. Kagaya nga na sinabi natin kanina, meron din siya sa harapan at available din itong audio ports sa likuran. Okay? So minsan yan ay color-coded. Diba may green, may violet. So depende sa isasaksak ninyong uh, audio. Yeah, it depends on how you can use it. It's either a speaker, a microphone, or a headset. Next, we have the Ethernet port. So this port looks uh, looks alike, looks a lot like the modem or telephone port, but it is slightly wider. So you can use this port for networking and connecting to the internet. So this is the example of a cable that is in. Uh, isinasaksak natin sa Ethernet port. Okay, so ang tawag sa cable na ito ay yung LAN cable. Okay, so ito yung nagsisilbing kulay para tayo ay makapag-connect sa internet. Okay, so without this, we cannot connect to the internet. Next, yan, marami di ba? Maraming USB port sa likod ng ating computer case. So on most desktop computers, most of the USB ports are on the back of the computer case. So generally, you'll want to connect your mouse to the Paramihan sa mga bagong labas na keyboard and mouse ay USB cable na ang kanya connector. Unlike before na bilog which is matatakal natin later. Okay, kung bago na yung kung USB cable na yung connector ng inyong mouse and keyboard, so pwede mo na siyang i-connect sa likod ng inyong computer case. And then yung harap naman ay pwede mong pagsaksakan ng iba't iba pa ang devices. Kagaya na lamang ng flash drive. So yan, meron din tayong tinatawag na monitor port. So this is where you'll connect your uh, monitor keyboard. So in this example, the computer has both a display port and a VGA port. So other computers may have other types of monitor ports such as DVI or the digital visual interface or HDMI, the high definition multimedia interface. Okay? So ito yung halimbawa ng VGA keyboard. So, mostly ginagamit yan sa uh, monitor display. And next, meron tayong kinatawag na serial port. So, this port is less common on today's computers. So, most of the newer version of computers nowadays, so hindi na available si serial port. So, it was frequently used to connect peripherals like digital cameras, but it has been replaced by USB and other types of ports. Okay, so itong serial port ay noong dati pa siya available dahil yung mga connector ng cameras and other devices ay hindi naman USB cable. 
So nowadays, yung mga nilalabas na nilang connectors and cables ay USB type. Ito, the PS2 kung tawagin natin. So these ports are sometimes used for connecting the mouse and keyboard. So typically, the mouse port is green and the keyboard port is purple. On no computers, these ports have been replaced by USB. Okay, kung mapupunta kayo sa isang computer shop and i-analyze mo yung itsura ng kanilang computer case, check mo yung likod. Ano ba yung uh, uri ng connector na ginagamit nila sa computer mouse and keyboard? Ito ba ay luma or bago? Kapag luma, ito ang kanyang itsura. Yan, pabilog, di ba? Unlike yung mga bagong labas na mouse and keyboard niya, ay USB keyboard na kanila siya. Okay, so the PS2 port is a 6-pin mini DIN connector used for connecting keyboards and mice to a PC compatible computer system. So its name comes from a, from the IBM Personal System 2 series of personal computers, which is uh, which was introduced in 1987. Yan, sa likod, meron din tayo tinatawag na expansion slot. So this empty slot is where expansion cards are added to computers. For example, if your computer did not come with a video card, you could purchase one and install it here. So mostly, nasa loob yan ng ating computer case. So yan yung expansion card, nadya yung pinagsasaksakan, the port and the expansion slot. Yan, meron tayong tinatawag na parallel port. So, this is an older port that is less common on no computers. So, like the serial port na diniscuss sa akin kanina, it has now been replaced by USB. Okay? So, meron din tayong iba't ibang ports from other devices na pwede natin isaksak sa computer case. So, there are many other types of ports such as the Firewire, Thunderbolt, and HDMI. If your computer has ports you don't recognize, of course, you need, you should consult your manual for more information. Kung hindi kayo familiar dun sa mga uh, ports na available sa inyong computer case, of course, pag bumili kayo ng computer set, meron inyo kasamang manual. So, always read the manual para hindi kayo magkamali ng pag saksa. Okay? So, ito yung halimbawa ng ating firewire cable which is a high-speed high computer data transfer interface used to connect personal computers, audio and video devices, and other professional and consumer electronics. Ito naman yung halimbawa ng Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Kung daw nagkakamali, mostly ito ay available sa Apple devices. Something like that. And ito naman example ng HDMI na ginagamit mostly sa uh, monitor display din. So, what are the peripherals that we can use with your computer? So, when we say peripherals, these are the devices that you can plug to, to the many different types of devices into the extra ports of the computer. Diba, kapag gumili tayo ng computer, meron tayo pangangailangan na kung saan kailangan natin matransfer yung printed pictures into a soft copy file. Pwede, na, pwede natin i-print yung documents natin using a printer, etc., etc. Kaya tayo gumagamit ng mga peripherals, peripheral devices na pwede i-connect sa ating computer case. Okay, so unang-una na nga ay si printer. It used to print documents, photos, and anything else that appears on your screen. We also have scanners that allows you to copy a physical image or document and save it to your computer as a digital or computer readable image. Diba? So, madala, karami, kadalasan sa mga printers na available sa market ay 3-in-1 na kong tawagin. Pwede ka na mag-print, pwede ka na mag-photocopy, pwede ka na rin mag-scan. So, 3-in-1 na siya. Of course, yung mga 3-in-1 computers ay medyo pricey compared doon sa mga printer na ang function lang is to print. Okay? So, kung ayaw mo magdalawang device, ayaw mo magkahiwalay si scanner, si photocopier, and scanner, at si printer, bumili ka na lang ng 3-in-1 para isang device na lang i-coconnect mo sa inyo. 
So we also have this, what we call these speakers and headphones. So these are output devices which means they send information from the computer to the user. So in this case, they allow you to hear sound and music. So depending on the model, they may connect to the audio port or the USB port. So some monitors also have built-in speakers. So ito yung mga halimbawa ng speakers and headphones na pwede natin mabilis sa labas. Diba? Ang ating computer set kasi ay hindi siya uh, hindi, wala siyang kasamang mau, ah, wala siyang kasamang speakers and headphones. So madalas as users, bumibili tayo ng uh, speakers and headphones para magamit natin sa klase, sa trabaho, at kung saan-saan pa. O pakikinig ng music or panonood ng videos. Okay? So pwede rin natin siya magamit sa uh, online class. Okay, so microphones, a type of input device or a device that receives information from a user. So you can connect a microphone to the record sound or talk with someone else over the internet for video calling. Okay, so many laptop computers come with built-in microphones. Okay, so sa laptop, available na si microphone. Pwede ka nang makipag-communicate sa ibang tao using the built-in microphone sa laptop. Pero sa desktop set, sa desktop computer, hindi siya available. Okay, so kaya bumibili tayo ng external microphone para tayo makapag-usap sa desktop computer. Okay, alam ko, familiar kayo dito. Ito yung tawag natin web cameras or webcam. It is uh, an input device that can record videos or take pictures. It can also transmit video over the internet in real time, which allows you for video chat or video conferencing with someone else. So many webcams also include a microphone for this reason. Okay, so webcam two in one na rin siya. P uh, pwede na pang picture na siya, pang video na siya. Meron na rin siya kasama microphone, so nakabil kina siya. Okay, kapag bibili tayo ng webcams, yan ay PNP na kung tawagin or the plug and play. Wala ka nang dapat i-install, isaksak mo lang siya sa USB port at pwede mo na siyang magamit again. Okay? So yan, para sa mga gamer, oh, meron tayong ginagamit na game controllers and joysticks. So used to control computer games. Uh, sa mobile phones, FP3 players, tablet computers, and other devices, whenever you buy an electronic device such as mobile phone, FP3 player, check to see if it comes with a USB cable. If it does, this means that you can most likely connect it to your computer, especially sa mobile phone. Kung yan ay mostly naman, uh, connector nga ay USB type. Diba? So, pwede mo siya i-connect sa ating computer case. Okay, so these are the most common uh, connectors and cables na isinasaksak natin sa computer is. And this one, itong kulit black na yan ay yung microphone. We have the speakers and, and headphones. We have the Ethernet for the internet, connection to the internet, the power cord and the VGA or the monitor display. Okay? So if you have if you don't have any more questions, so we have these activities which is you need to connect cable into its appropriate port by drawing a line in. Okay, so iguguhit niyo lang kung saan na papabilang ang bawat uh, cables na ito. Saan siya dapat isaksak sa likod ng ating computer. Okay? So that's all before we end our discussion. I will leave you this quotation from Isaac Asimov, which he said, I do not fear computers, I fear laptops. Okay? So that's all, class. So see you next week.